Have you ever wondered what's hiding under the ocean waves? The ocean is a large body of salt water that covers 70% of the Earth. It's all connected, but scientists divide it into five main parts, called oceans. Each ocean is full of amazing animals, plants, and habitats to explore. Let's go explore the five oceans that cover our planet. The Pacific Ocean is the largest and deepest ocean in the world. It's located between Asia and Australia on one side and North and South America on the other. It's so big, it holds more water than all the other oceans combined. The Pacific is home to amazing animals like sea turtles, giant whales, and colorful fish. There are also beautiful coral reefs filled with plants and tiny sea creatures. Next, we'll visit the Atlantic Ocean. The Atlantic Ocean is the second largest ocean. It is found between the Americas on one side and Europe and Africa on the other. It's home to whales, dolphins, and even the Bermuda Triangle. Now let's learn about the Southern Ocean. The Southern Ocean circles around Antarctica at the bottom of the Earth. It's full of icy water and cold-loving animals like penguins and seals. Strong winds and waves make it one of the wildest oceans. Next is the Indian Ocean. The Indian Ocean is the warmest ocean. It's located between Africa, Asia, and Australia. The Indian Ocean is known for its colorful coral reefs, sea turtles, and tropical fish. Last is the Arctic Ocean. The Arctic Ocean is the smallest and coldest ocean. It is found at the very top of the Earth, around the North Pole, near North America, Europe, and Asia. Covered in ice most of the year, and home to polar bears and walruses. We've learned about the five oceans that cover the Earth, now let's look at what's beneath the surface. Sunlight shines on the oceans just like on the land. However, light does not reach the deepest layers of the ocean. The depth of the oceans are split into layers. Each layer is different, with its own specific characteristics. The first layer of the ocean is called the sunlight zone, or the epipelagic zone. This is the top layer of the ocean, and it gets the most sunlight, just like the name says. Because it's warm and bright, it's where most ocean animals live. The temperature here is usually between 54 and 68 degrees Fahrenheit. The pressure in this zone is low, just about the same as the air around us. That makes it perfect for scuba divers, who can usually swim down to about 130 to 165 feet. You'll find lots of plants here too, like seaweed, phytoplankton, and even some flowering ocean plants. They can grow because there's plenty of sunlight to help them make their own food. Many ocean animals live in this zone, like dolphins, sea turtles, jellyfish, coral, rays, and even seals. It's a busy, colorful part of the ocean full of life. The next layer down is called the twilight zone, also known as the mesopelagic zone. Meso means middle, because this layer is in the middle part of the ocean. Only a tiny bit of sunlight reaches this zone, so it's much darker and colder than the layer above. The temperature here is between 39 and 55 degrees Fahrenheit. The pressure is a lot stronger too, it would feel like having a car tire pressing on your body. Because it's so dark, plants can't grow here. There isn't enough sunlight for them to make their own food. But there are still lots of amazing animals living in the twilight zone, like swordfish, shrimp, octopuses, and even whales that dive down deep to hunt. You can also find sponges living here. They don't move and may look like plants, but they're really animals that stay in one spot.
Next is the Midnight Zone, also called the Bathypelagic Zone. And this part of the ocean is very, very deep. No sunlight reaches this zone at all. It's completely dark, and the temperature is around 39 degrees Fahrenheit, super cold. The pressure down here is extremely strong. It would feel like having a school bus or even a whole elephant sitting on your body. That's why people can't swim or dive this far without special equipment. Some oil rigs go this deep, and even the famous shipwreck, the Titanic, was found in this zone, about 12,500 feet underwater. Even in the darkness, some animals still live here. You might find giant squid, sea urchins, and large whales that dive deep. There's no sunlight, but some animals make their own light. These are called bioluminescent animals. Now we've reached the abyss, one of the deepest, darkest places in the ocean. There is no light at all here, and the temperature is really cold, around 32 to 39 degrees Fahrenheit, almost freezing. The pressure is super strong. It would feel like having a truck or even a small car pressing down on your body. This zone is actually the largest environment on Earth. That means it takes up more space than forests, deserts, or even all the land on the planet. Some parts of the abyss are more than 17,000 feet deep. That's where the Arctic Ocean reaches its deepest point. Even way down here, some special sea creatures live. You might find sea spiders and basket stars. The bottom layer of the ocean is called the trenches. It is pitch black down here, and the temperatures are freezing cold usually between 32 degrees Fahrenheit and 39 degrees Fahrenheit. The pressure in this zone is extremely strong. It would feel like the weight of 600 to 1,000 cars stacked on your fingernail. The deepest place on Earth is found in this zone. It's called Challenger Deep, located in the Mariana Trench. This deep spot was first explored by Jacques Picard and Don Walsh in a special deep-sea submarine. Most animals living in this zone can't see at all because there's no light. You might find strange fish like the rat tail fish or lip arid fish. Amphipods, which look like tiny shrimp, wait for bits of food to fall from above. And decapods, which are crab like creatures, live here too, and they eat the amphipods. This layer is dark, cold, and mysterious, and it's the last stop in our journey through the ocean's layers. The ocean is a vast and powerful part of our planet. It covers 70% of Earth, is divided into five oceans, and has five main layers, each with its own unique environment and creatures. Understanding the oceans helps us better protect and care for the world we live in. Subscribe to Twinkle Teaching Resources USA for more It's Easy with Twinkle videos.